Why don't you try a glass? You might have better luck. Oh, please don't encourage him, Marina. You sound like you've had experience. Well, let's just say living here, I've picked up a few pointers. I'm sure you're a splendid teacher, dear. What is going on in there? Well, it seems that Celia went down to Brazil and saw Jimmy Lee and saw more of him and his uh, <clears throat> associates than she wanted to. Celia has threatened to leave Jimmy Lee for good. Well, from the sounds of what's going on in there, it looks like uh, Celia's really means business today. Well, I'm sure it'll all work out once they get their little quarrel settled. Mm -hmm. Let's head for cover. This is getting to sound more serious than I even thought it was. <sighs> Quartermain residence. Lorena? Yeah. Derek. Uh, what have you got going for lunch? Uh, no plans. I've got to go into the spa. What's all that noise? <laughs> Uh, a little difference of opinion. Um, look, I did want to go over our new advertising campaign with you. Well, why don't we discuss it over a salad at the Floating Red, say, uh, one o'clock? Sure, sounds good. I'll even treat. <clears throat> It'll be a pleasure to get out of this house for a while. Problems? Jimmy Lee and Celia. Seems that the marriage made in heaven is coming in for a landing. Well, I'll see you this afternoon. Bye-bye. Look, I didn't do anything. See, I came out of the shower and there she was. I wasn't unfaithful to you, honey. You've got to You believe... don't know how to be faithful to one woman, Jimmy Lee. Yeah. You're weak and you're selfish and you can't say no. Is that a fact, huh? What, what gives you the double standard to be able to sleep with me while you're still married to Grant? Oh, you're right. But your clumsy, earthy pursuit of me convinced me that you cared for me. I do care for you, honey. I love you more than I love anything in the whole world. You're my golden girl. I've loved you from the first moment you came down those stairs in that blue party dress. Well, the party's over. Honey, you can't leave me. You can't walk out on me. Yeah? Stick around and watch. Please, see ya. Don't do it. Quentin should be here any minute now. Your father's picking you up? Yes. We're reconciled. In fact, that's why I came to Brazil. To tell you that I'm in back in his will, and now I have a big trust fund that I wanted to share with you. Come on, honey. We can make it work. No, we can't. Not this time. Sometimes you just have to know when to cut your losses. Well, that's really cold. Well, I'm sorry if it offends you, but I had to learn the hard way. I want a man to love me all the time, not just when I'm with him. <laughs> Gwen. Honey, please don't go. Honey, please, you got to talk to somebody, okay? Talk, talk to Alan, Monica. Talk to Edward. Talk I'm to somebody, please. I'm not leaving them. I'm leaving you, Jimmy Lee. You'll hear from my lawyers. Yeah, please, don't go. Honey, you got to believe me. I love you more than anything in the world. I didn't do anything. Don't go. Jimmy, we could have had it all. Goodbye. See, you got... Then to give me a uh, double scotch on the rocks, huh? A little early for doubles, isn't it, Mr. Holt? Yeah, you're absolutely right. Hold the rocks, just give me a double scotch straight, huh? You don't remember me, do you? I used to wait tables at the Port Charles Hotel. You used to come in there all the time with that pretty wife of yours. 
Look, if I wanted conversation, I would have joined a bridge club, huh? Sorry. Hi, Lorena. <clears throat> oh, Jersey. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll go to our table. How did it go with Celia? I mean, other. It didn't go, uh, she left me. Oh, Jimmy Lee, she's just got her nose out of joint. She'll be there. <sighs> Not this time, Lorena. She's, she's gone for good. Look, can I have another drink or what? Is there anything I can do? No, Lorena, no. No, there's nothing anybody can do. Well, if, if you need me, you know where you can find me. Hey, look, bartender, if I, uh, get too drunk, you call a cab for me, will you? Oh, yeah, another soldier down. <laughs> Give me another one, will you? You've had enough. Look, we got an agreement, right? I've never seen somebody drink so much in such a short time. Hey, look, Mac, don't worry about it. It's, it. it's the only way I can make it through today, all right? Look, why don't you go home and take a nap? You'll thank me in the morning. I don't have a home to go to. I, I, just give me another drink, huh? <laughs> okay, this is it, Mr. Holt. After this one, you are 86th. I hate to see Jimmy Lee beat himself up like this. Celia isn't worth it. Looks like in a bad way. Yeah. Would you help me get him home? No, you picked up the lunch, Tap. I owe you one. Thanks. Uh. Hey, big guy. How about a ride home, huh? Lorena ain't got a home to go to. All that's there is four walls and a roof without Celia. Now, things will look a lot better in the morning, Jimmy Lee. The only way that's going to happen is if I wake up and, and uh, Celia's in the bed with me. <laughs> Jimmy Lee, look, the man promised things that would get better, okay? <sighs> Come on, you've had enough. Let's go. Okay, okay Jimmy. Let's go. Come on. Look, I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine. Yes, I'm telling you. Know. Here we go. You're fine. Hold uh, it. Hold it. Hey, Mac. Here, take that. Without Celia, it doesn't mean anything, huh? I'm okay. That's all right. Grab a hold. Are you sure he's a quarter me? Look, you heard me. Sell it. No, I want you to sell it all. Look, I don't care what you think. I... All right. Go ahead. Sell a few shares of it. It'll make you feel any better. But I know what I'm doing. Look, I want you to unload everything that you can get your hands up. Well, of course, I have plans for the money. No, no, I do not care to fill you in. Is that everything? Alan, did you sell your shares of that uh, utility stock? I was hoping it wouldn't be necessary. Oh, come on, Alan. Either you're in this or you're out of it. Why should it be up to me to raise all this working capital? Well, what about Jimmy Lee? Why doesn't he sell some stock? Jimmy Lee doesn't have any stock. Oh. Short of the shirt off his back, he doesn't have anything to offer us. All right, you made your point. Hope you're right. Bob, this is Alan Quartermain. You know that utility stock that I own? I want you to sell it all as soon as possible. Oh, it's not a good time to sell, huh? Sell it, Alan. Sell it, Bob. Why? My father told me to. Thanks. Thanks very much, Bob. Bye. A lot of brokers know. They have no spirit of adventure. Oh, is that what it is? Well, of course. Otherwise, they'd be down in the wilds of the Brazilian jungle themselves, making their own fortune. If you're such an adventurer, why aren't you down there? Well, that's what Jimmy Lee's for. He's on his way to Sao Paulo right now to try to talk Cassadine into selling uh, his shares of the Donnelly Cassadine Shipping Company before the stock goes public. That's how the rich get richer. Oh, no, that's how the Quartermains get richer. I like the sound of that. <laughs> boy, oh, boy. I wish I could be there when Donnelly finds out that we sneaked in the back door and bought off interest in the Donnelly Cassadine Shipping Company. <laughs>